Well, that time's come round again, where we do this monthly newsletter, and I'm in Holly Cottage in Higher Kinnerton. All the school buses are going past at the time of day that uh, I'm recording this. And this is the last time you're going to see this house on the inside, although most of you probably haven't ever seen it before anyway. Um, but it's goodbye because the survey was done, then they ordered a damp survey, a timber survey, and they were done and they were fine. So now we've moved on to searches and they've been done and we're heading for completion. So time to say goodbye for me to strip out the bits that I want from this place. Um, I might as well take this fire. This is an electric fire here, which is quite nice. And um, they don't want it because they're gonna put gas in the property. They're gonna knock down this wall behind me. Can I get out of the way? The kitchen's behind here and this wall is going to be knocked down so you have an open plan the living room and kitchen. I'm going to move on and the next project is going to be Trithin. So next month I shall be up at Trithin, probably with the grandchildren, probably with some sledgehammers. The rest of this month is going to be taken up by what else has been happening including my trips to Kirkdale and my trip to Spain. Although I'm not actually back from that yet but um, hoping to sneak in a couple of bits of it while I'm still there. Thank you. Hello, it's Brian in Spain. And thanks to the other Brian. Um, and you're not going to hear much from me now because we've, um, I've had no proper internet connection, so I haven't been able to send much back. I've got some pictures I can let you see later. Um, and the weather's not been great. Um, it's been raining a lot. But I'm out today, it's nice and sunny, and the place is drying out. Still a lot of puddle, puddles around the place, but uh, that's all I can tell you for now because we haven't got much of a connection back home. So back to you, Brian, in Liverpool. I'm actually standing at the kitchen sink where I decided to wash my hands after getting a bit grubby around the flat and found uh, something I would have otherwise missed, the mixer tap, yes it's a mixer tap, on the sink here is broken, it leaks in a big way, you, it's one of those pull up lever things and the water goes sideways instead of down, great, so there's a plumber needed here uh, for a start, staying in the kitchen for now I noticed that the cooker is missing, that's the oven unit and the hob, both gone missing, stolen we believe, uh, and also there's a bit missing off the top of the extractor, not that these ever go anywhere as you can tell. Also in the kitchen is what looks like uh, a shower cubicle but inside is the electric boiler, that'll need checking. The electrics are in the living room, the consumer unit is high up on the wall, there's an alarm system and a telephone entry system also in the living room and they'll all need checking out. The flat seems to be reasonably clean, it is going to need a, a fairly thorough um, going over but um, and there's, there's a lot of odd bits of furniture left here there's a single bed in the one and only bedroom but the a double bed is quite possible the uh, odd bits of furniture lying around may or may not be uh, of any use it depends who comes here but the first thing we're going to have to do is get an electrician in get a certification on the electrics get him to install uh, an oven and a hob and get a cleaner in and probably a decorator because um, there's some of the walls could do with a bit of touching up. However, this is actually a fairly cheap rental area. You're talking about 325 to 375 being the range of, of rents around this area. So it may not be worth doing a fantastic job with the decorating. It's probably fine as it is. And so I start the year with this as one of my potential list of projects to look after for other investors. Whether he thinks it's worth doing, it's up to him but he'll see this as you do and make a decision.